Sriracha Sauce, Tom and Jerry, and Taylor Swift. They all have something in common. Stick around, I'll tell you. What has happened this week in the world of reselling? The charity shop supermarket opened up its first bricks and mortar store this year in Brent Cross Shopping Centre and has since gone on to strength to strength, having pop-up events in Manchester, Edinburgh, Glasgow, and now is setting its sights on Bristol. It is estimated that the supermarket is going to raise over a million pounds this year alone, which isn't really surprising considering we've seen a 15% increase year on year in the second-hand clothing space. A recent YouGov poll has shown that about 65% of people are wearing second-hand clothing, with 80% saying that they got their clothing from charity shops. Clearly, there's a big demand on the high street for this kind of shop. Not all reselling is good. Capitalism is fair game. That's what it's been created for. However, there's some areas that I stay completely clear of, and that is uh, music tickets and music festival tickets. There are professional scalpers out there that set up multiple accounts with multiple uh, credit card accounts to buy up as the maximum amount of tickets so that they can scalp them and sell them online. eBay used to be a frenzy, it used to be the Wild West. The biggest name this summer has got to be Taylor Swift, who is on her Eras tour throughout Europe. However, I've got a lot of time for Taylor Swift. She has tried to put her fans first. She and her team have created like a system, which is frustrating, but is meant to give first priority to super fans and to people who buy the album. With this issue actually reaching the British Parliament. As a, as a father of a Swifty, and I know that my honourable friend, uh, the Deputy Shadow Leader of the House, is also a mother of a Swifty. I was appalled to see that within an hour of tickets going on sale for the Taylor Swift concert at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff, uh, a ticket was on sale in the lower tier for £3,352 on, on Viagoga. Why hasn't the government done more to protect our daughters from this sort of rip-off merchants? That is insane. Look, you're never going to get away from this type of thing. It's been happening for decades. It's going to only change once legislation is in place. This is what happens. See, I have no problem in buying stuff like this and then selling it fairly on a car boot or even online. I've got no problem with that. But these are experiences. These are like moments in history. They're not things that you can own. They are the memories what you own. And to be there is something entirely different than just watching it on telly. It's it's uh, it's an experience. It's like Glastonbury. It's a once in a lifetime experience sometimes. And a lot of people save up just to get that experience. So that's why I stay clear of that. So one of the ways that they try to combat this scourge of scalpers is to give codes out to the people who bought the album. I thought it would be a very effective way to weed out these scalpers. Apparently not. There's a person in Yorkshire who was trying to sell the, t the code for the pre-release tickets for £350 just for the code. That's not on, is it? No bids have made, been made, but users were tracking the auction. Yeah, I bet they were. It is what it is. I think only legislation is going to lead the way. But I'm going to throw it to you. Sound off below what you think. Do you like your hot sauce? Well drama ensued because there's going to be a shortage of sriracha sauce thanks to global warming and climate change and hotter than predicted summers and the peppers which are grown in like mexico and south america there's actually a shortage so the california based company hugh fong foods i hope i said that right uh first announced in april 2022 that they it was going to be facing a shortage of red jalapeno peppers usually grow in california new mexico and mexico there's some insane stories coming out of uh american e uh, ebay where single bottles are selling anywhere between 30 and 90 dollars amazon tells a similar story resellers are trying to offload their bottles for as low as 23 dollars for one and as high as a hundred dollars for a pack of two if you think the hot sauce is crazy turn your attention to china right now there are giant cups of noodles it's about they cost 31 dollars and people are scalping them and putting them up online for 373 dollars it's like 10 times what you pay for it. it's insane sam's club which is kind of like costco a membership warehouse club owned by us retail giant walmart sold out of its limited edition giant cup noodle buckets at its Shenzhen store. Each bucket has a height of 45 centimetres and contains 24 packs 
of different flavoured noodles. It sold out within 15 minutes in the store. 15 minutes in the store. One person stating that people are stupid and have so much money. 500 yuan to buy a bucket of instant noodles? Crazy. <laughs> And apparently the cheapest charity shop slash thrift store in the UK has been named as the Waver Tree Community Relove Store in Liverpool. You can get things as low as £1. Some people were picking up leather jackets for £2 and jeans for like a couple of quid. It's a pretty good bargain. So if you're around there, grab yourself a deal. A man has been sentenced to five years and two months for robbing a charity shop while dressed as Jerry from the cartoon of Tom and Jerry. Yes, this actually happened. The 34-year-old man called Daniel Bolton was sentenced at Bristol Crown Court after hiding in the charity shop, waiting for them to lock up and then robbed the store. He has also pled guilty to a string of other robberies within the area at the time and has a history of drug and alcohol abuse. The judge sentenced him to five years and two months, hoping that his time inside would help him get clean. A little part of me kind of hopes that the police dressed up as, a, as Tom to catch him. Just a little bit, just a little bit. That's pretty much it for this week in reselling. <laughs> Something for everyone. Um, I'm, I usually do these on shorts. Um, please remember, do all the nice stuff of liking and subscribing. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go